Well, hello, everyone. We have Harper Breidenbach with us. Harper, how many times do people mispronounce your last name on an average day or week or month? Um, well, now not so much, but when I was in like elementary, middle school, it would be like all the time. What was the worst way that it ever happened? Like breed and batch or something like that. The batch at the end is that's a tough, that's a tough one. Yep. Um, yep. But this will not be a tough look. This will be a great look. We're excited to have you on 20 questions, and we're going to get after it right away by asking, what is your favorite animal that you would find in a zoo? Flamingos and sloths. Okay, well, that's two, Harper. So we're already <laughs> having problems, but I'm going to let it go um, just because those are really very different animals. Why are you a flamingo and sloth fan? I don't know. Like, ever since I was little, I just really like seeing, like, the um, flamingos at the zoo. Yeah. And then and then just sloths are my favorite animal. What do you like about sloths? That they're just super chill? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, – in 2020, a lot of times I feel like maybe we relate to the sloth more than we should. It's kind of our lifestyle these days. Yeah. That's, that's a great one. If I were to ask you which time of day you thrive the most in, morning, afternoon, or night, which one comes to mind? Probably night. Yeah, I was pretty confident morning was not going to be your answer. Uh, why do you like nighttime? Um, I usually have like the most energy at night for no reason. So, yeah. Uh, what time do you, this isn't one of the questions, but what time do you roughly go to bed, do you think, most nights? Um, 10.30 to 11, somewhere in there. Is that, that seems kind of early to me for the average high school student, Harper. Yeah, that's on, like, a weekday. Yeah. On, like, the weekends, it's, like, 12, 1230, yeah. somewhere around there. Yeah, that's, like, when I go to bed. That's when reasonable adult, adults are trying to do their, <laughs> do their uh, end of the day stuff. So that's awesome. Good for you. I'm glad to hear that it's not an a.m. time, uh, like 2 a.m., yeah. those types of things. All right, next question. What is one of your favorite activities to do outside? Um, probably just walking my dogs. Yeah. Tell the people yeah. you have the names of your dogs. Okay, so at my mom's house I have a little Yorkie named Buff. And then I have a soft wheat and terrier named Edith. Soft wheat and terrier. Um yeah. when you're walking, do you put on music? Do you like do the same route? Give the people a little bit of a perspective of what a walk with you with a dog looks like for you. Um, sometimes I play music. Um, and I usually just go in like the neighborhood, like around like a street. Yeah. And then it's like a circle. Yeah. Is it starting to get cold where it's tough to do the walks or are you all right? Yeah. I mean, I don't do them too often, but when I do, I usually choose like the weather and like which day would work best. For sure. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good one. And walks are super important in this time. Mm -hmm. uh, be outside, be active, get some fresh air. Next question is, do you like your name, Harper? Do you like the name Harper? Um, yeah, I think it's pretty unique. When I was younger, I wanted to change it, but. <laughs> Did you have a name that you wanted to change to? Yeah, one of the names I was about to be named um, is Blair, and I really like that name. That's actually a pretty cool name. Yeah. I don't know if I know of a Blair, but obviously I've heard the name. Blair, uh, yeah, I feel like you're a Harper, though. Yeah. If you were Blair, maybe you would say the same exact thing. <laughs> That's good. So overall, you like it, and you're yeah. liking it more than, than even when you were a kid. Awesome. Next question is, what is the, your favorite app to watch, like, entertainment TV shows on these days? Um, Probably Disney Plus. Disney Plus. What makes yeah. you like Disney Plus? I feel like it just has like almost everything and plus like I love Disney movies so yeah. So are you watching like the old stuff more or things that are recent? Uh, more of like the old Disney yeah. movies. Movies more than the TV shows? Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, anyone in particular you like so right now? Um... Oh, wait, I'll ask you favorite movie of all time later. That's another, okay. we'll, we'll put it on the pause. We, okay. we keep in order. Uh, next question. This is a one I'm really excited to hear the answer to. What's one thing the 2020 version of Harper would tell the 2019 version of Harper? Um, probably just 
probably just like live in the moment. Yeah. So, you know, I, I didn't really do that much um, in 2019. So, yeah. I think that's a good thing for us to tell any version of ourselves is to live in the moment and be present and just enjoy where you're at because there's no other way around it. That's where you're at, yeah. right? <laughs> I like that, Harper. That's good advice for all times. Favorite type of candy? What are you eating if, if I had said, Harper, I'll buy any piece of candy for you? Um, anything chocolate. And is it is like a candy bar or M and M's little pieces? What do you think you like more? Um, probably just like a Kit Kat. A Kit Kat. That's old school. Yeah, right. It's nice. It's it's pretty it's pretty crisp and clean. It doesn't feel super heavy for for chocolate yeah. candy bar. You you eat like a Snickers. It's I mean that's their whole thing. It's like be satisfied, but sometimes it's full. Mm-hmm. Get a little Kit Kat, something nice, a little treat. I like that. Have you ever broken a bone, Harper? Yes, I've actually broken my right leg when I was in preschool. What happened? What's the story behind that? <laughs> so we, it was up in my lake house, um, and we have, like, a golf car up there. Um, so we were, like, pulling out of the garage, and, like, my mom's car was, like, right next to where we were pulling out. I guess my leg got caught where like the tire is so we kept going and then it broke but it wasn't like a big big deal it was like a small break yeah it wasn't a big deal you just broke your leg it's just like (laughs) it was like a hangnail yeah Uh, I assume you don't really remember this it's like people have told you about it I remember parts of it yeah but like I don't remember the whole thing Oh my goodness, that's so. And that, but that's the only time you've broken a bone. I yeah. Yeah, let's hope it keeps that way. Uh, yeah. Jeepers, that's that's a story. The golf cart break. Yep. <laughs> um, all right, we're going to the one I almost asked earlier. But favorite movie of all time? Grown Ups. Grown Ups, not on Disney Plus. So I could have no. asked on that that sense. What do you like about Grown Ups? I don't know. I just feel like it's one of those movies that you can't get tired of. Is it Adam Sandler? Is he in that one? Yeah. I uh, I don't think I've seen it, but Adam Sandler, uh, is he play the like, classic Adam Sandler role? Like he always is the same type of guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, he's all grown up though, apparently in the movie. All right. Mm-hmm. That's, that's awesome. Next question coming in here. What is it like to be the youngest sibling? You got two older brothers. Tell the people what it's like. Um, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, they like pretty much pay like the way to like show me how like school is like I don't know just like help me out with that but sometimes it's kind of annoying what's annoying about it I don't know it's just like um how they like I don't know what's really like annoying about it but sometimes it's just irritating well you're just like the youngest right like sometimes like you don't get to like pave your own way or yeah you gotta just like navigate that they get responsibilities before you do yeah. no that makes sense Harper but overall every time you've talked about your brothers it seems like you know it's a good thing that they treat you well which is awesome mm-hmm. next question what is your favorite part of camp either Covenant Harbor or Covenant Point what do you love about those places um I I think I like like the whole experience like there's nothing that like is like my old time favorite. I think like just like the whole experience is like my favorite. Yeah. You go to both senior highs at that point, right? You yeah. at least did it one summer. I remember you did the double dip. Mm-hmm. That's how much you like it. You want it again the same summer. Yeah. Yeah, there is like it it's not necessarily just one thing, right? It kinda all flows into this experience, this culture, this time and and it's really powerful and it's really fun. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's great. It's a great reminder. Next question. What's one thing you hope for in twenty twenty one? We know the the world won't completely change just because the calendar flips, but what's one thing you hope for in the next coming year? Um I I hope that I'm able to go to camp and yeah. work there. Yeah. yeah you hope to work there so for crew yeah that's awesome um yeah i think we all are hoping that stuff in the summer feels like it could be a little bit more what it was previously to 2020 and uh mm-hmm. yeah that'd be so awesome i'd really be excited for you if that happened 
you talked about your lake home. Uh, what's one favorite thing to do on vacation, whether it's your lake home or somewhere else? What do you like to do when you're just on vacation away? Um, usually when I'm on vacation with like my dad and like stepmom, step siblings, we our main priority is like to go whitewater rafting. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's my favorite. Yeah. Uh, I've done that with some youth group kids and it's terrifying to be the youth pastor <laughs> in the whitewater rafting because you're just like, I hope everything goes uh, okay. Does does any fear come into your mind when you whitewater raft? I mean, sometimes, but not really. Overall, you're just like, it's going to be safe. I'm going to enjoy it. We're all good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good stuff. What would you, this is a would you rather. Uh, what would you rather have to never be able to do? Never watch TV shows or never listen to music? Um, watch TV. You would give up watching TV? Yeah. Why do you value music over TV? I don't know. I just think like it's like it's like one of my favorite things. It's like a like whenever I like get like a little bit of anxiety, I just play some music and it helps a lot. <laughs> so. It's incredible what music can do, right? Yeah. It's really just, cal- it can calm you, it can excite you, it can help you reflect. It, the amount of different things it can do. Obviously, TV is the same way, but it's a cool yeah. form of art. And uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's super healthy and helpful. So that's great, Harper. What is your favorite Bible verse? Which one comes to mind? Um, Joshua 1 through 9. Nice. Uh, I, do you have it written somewhere? Yes, I do. Would you read it to the people? Yeah. So it says, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. Amen. That that chapter of, uh, of Joshua, that was my grandpa's favorite chapter too. And those verses were really powerful. It's, it's so encouraging, especially in this time, right? To feel that mm-hmm. you know, dismayed. Uh, first of all, it's like the only time we use the word dismayed anymore is just reading Joshua <laughs> one nine. Um, that's great, Harper. Thanks for sharing that one with us. Do you think in your life you will live in the same town for the majority of your years, or do you think you'll be somebody who moves around a lot, different states, different cities? Um, probably um, stay for the most part, but then like after college, like go my own way. Yeah, and then try to maybe, like, find a place and dig some roots and, and commit. Yeah. What do you like about that mindset? What do you like about digging roots? Um, I guess, like, I just like being here because of just, like, I know everyone and, like, I know, like, where I'm going 24-7. So it's, like, yeah. Familiarity is key and feeling yeah. comfortable and confident in what you're supposed to do. Uh, where to get help or or where you can go. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's really, that makes a lot of sense. If you were to be playing a game in church where we hide, what's one of your favorite places to hide inside church for a youth group game? Um, probably the choir room. The choir room. Do you go to the robes? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) The robes is a nice little spot there. Um, any other spot in the choir room? Um, I guess when it's like dark, like you can really hide anywhere in there because like none of the lights are ever on. For sure. But you don't go to the attic, right? You stay out of that? Yeah. It's off limits, but uh, you can't (laughs) control the kids saying not to go up there. It's scary to be up in the attic by yourself and then have it be dark. That's, I'd Mm -hmm. much rather be in the roads. It's a good one. (laughs) I've been there many times myself. What is one overrated fast food restaurant out there, Harper? Shake Shack. Oh my gosh, I completely agree. <laughs> it's super overrated. Tell, tell the people yeah. why. It's gross. I, I wouldn't say it's gross, but tell, <laughs> like, what's gross about it? I, I don't know, but like their burgers are just not good. So you like burgers in general? Yeah. It's their burgers you don't like? Yeah. I mean, that's fair. I, I just don't think it deserves all the hype it gets. Yeah. Um, Like, nationally, like, it's just so, mm-hmm. like, shake, shack, shake, shack, shake, shack. First yeah. of all, I have no idea how I said those words so fast. <laughs> uh, fumbling. Um, completely agree on that one. 
the last two questions here, Harper, how we end every 20 questions. What is your favorite part of Winneka Covenant Youth Ministry? Um, I'd probably have to say the retreats, honestly. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. so tough because we don't get to do them right now. Yeah. What about the retreats makes, uh, makes your time at Winneka feel so awesome? Um, I just feel like um, as a group, we all get closer. Yeah. Which is like a really fun time. Yeah, there's nothing like it. You can't you can't really replicate that time together and those hours spent. Yeah, you know, it's it's super mm-hmm. special. Harper, what's one thing you want the people to know about you? Um, <laughs> I have a golden retriever named Winston at my dad's house. You gotta have Winston. Everyone, uh-huh. thank you so much for t- tuning in to this one, Harper. Give yourself a big pat on the back. You did awesome. <laughs> We always say here, if we're going to ask one question, we might as well ask 20. So thanks for joining us this week, everyone. And thank you, Harper. Thank you. Yes.